So new tonight, Cadillacs and Mercedes are just some of the high-end vehicles seized by Border Patrol agents at the Port of Norfolk. Those cars were stolen, but it's where they were headed that got the attention of Homeland Security. Penny, your side's Joe Fisher's in the newsroom now with the trend that agents are watching tonight. Joe? Well, Tom, all of the cars were reported stolen out of the Midwest and bound for West African countries, where agents say the payoff for these vehicles is much greater than here in the States. We are always looking at vehicles every single day. At this U.S. Customs and Border Protection facility in Chesapeake, they're inspecting vehicles intercepted from ports across Hampton Roads. We have officers at every single terminal working basically around the clock. And it's been a busy three months. But this is one. 16 cars seized, totaling nearly $700,000. Nine in December alone, including a 2017 Lexus SUV, 2017 Cadillac Escalade, and a 2018 Mercedes GLE. We're always happy when we're able to stop people from exporting uh, stolen vehicles that don't belong to them and, and enforcing the laws. Chief Louis Rosero says the high-end models were stolen from areas near Chicago and Detroit. They arrived to the shipping terminals by train, all of them bound for West Africa, a destination now under heavy scrutiny by Homeland Security. We think it's a, a problem around the country at this point. The vehicles are worth a lot more over there than they are here. Um, so a vehicle that you would get for ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars over here could be worth thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars over there. Rosero says agents start by matching the vehicle's VIN numbers to a database of stolen autos. Still, finding the people who stole and shipped the cars is no easy task. A lot of it is offline money transfers and those types of things, cashiers checks and. Trying to trace the money is always the biggest portion of it. It's very time consuming. It's very difficult for the investigators. By and large, most vehicles inspected are cleared for shipping, but agents say these recent seizures underscores the importance of protecting our border. And in 2015, agents in New York seized 249 stolen luxury vehicles worth a combined $16 million. Seven people in that case who oversaw the loading of the vehicles onto those shipping containers were charged. As for the vehicles recovered here, Virginia State Police will help in returning them to their rightful owners in the Midwest. I'm Joe Fisher, Ted on your side.